we're back with another episode. I'm gonna lie, it's that cold outside. I come inside to chill until I got a job. I've just got an order for temp, bro. So I'm about to fly to Mackey's. Grab this order, go deliver it. It's not going too far at all. I think it's like 0.5, it says. It's paying three pounds, that ain't bad. I think the public find it strange when I'm walking and talking to myself. But realistically, I'm talking to the camera, so it's all good. I need to get downstairs. We're gonna head to the ramp. Head back outside, go collect this order, get the order delivered. But guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to talk about the gig economy in general. Now, if you don't know what the gig economy is, it's companies like Uber, Deliveroo, Just Eat to a certain degree. If you're hub based, I wouldn't say you're a part of the gig economy. That's the truth. The gig economy is more of a paid per job. That's the, the hustle behind it. It kind of works with how the systems work. And don't get me wrong, Just Eat has that system, but they don't allow everyone to work on it. So, with this here now, sorry. Um, it's kind of a bit of an interesting situation because with Uber, Deliveroo, Stuart, Stuart's Just Eat, by the way, you get paid per job, but with just eat hub based, you get paid hourly. So that's why I don't think it's actually a part of the gig economy. But the gig economy originally started in 2016. For us here in the UK, it started with Deliveroo, then Uber popped up and it continued from there. Just eat was already out here doing deliveries, but more cars and mopeds, and they were called hungry Hungry house or something like that. But I ain't got far to go. So we're gonna get up here. If I remember to turn the bike on. What is wrong with me today? I only put the keys in the bike. <laughs> so. Alright, there we go. We're on the move. <laughs> Should probably remember to turn it on. This guy's pedaling for his life here. So there's a few other things that you can compare in the gig economy. For example, being the distances on a job for for just eat they send you a max of six miles three miles to a restaurant three miles to a customer and it tends to go from there if i'm being honest and whether you work for Deliveroo, uber or just eat stewart there's even companies like hungry panda that's a bit of a different one but right now i'm gonna go into this orders ready and when we come back we'll continue Yeah, that's a no. I'm good, I'm good. A few moments later. What up? All right, man. You're right. Good, yeah. Thank you, miss. Have a good day. Bye bye. See you later, bro. All right, so I secured my order. I remember to put the keys in, don't worry. Previously, earlier on, I went to start the bike with no keys. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that brings us. Do you know what? Let me get this delivery done and we'll go on to the next chapter. The next chapter. Because, oh boy. Go on, go on, go on. It is a bit chilly now. It wasn't earlier on, but it's starting to get there. So, we do not have far to go. I am just trying not to spill that drink in my bag right now. Huh, it's telling me it's literally directly in front of me.
Okay, so I'm just gonna go down the hill. Creepy, creepy, real quick. I am literally about to make my delivery. Let's swap the app back over. Unassigned, huh? When did that come through? Deliveroo's not making no notifications on my phone or anything. I keep missing jobs today on there. Please call me on arrival and I'll come down. But there's one issue. Is this the building here? I think it is. No, it can't be because it says... Number two is what I'm looking for. Hello? Hi, I've just arrived on outside. Uh, yeah, I'm listening. Okay, okay thank you. you. Yeah. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How are you? It is a little bit cold, yeah. You've got the clever handle thing, though. They don't really work, though, to be honest. Oh, do they not? No, <laughs> it's okay. There's your drink, oh, sorry. No, 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 that's oh, okay. a drink. And here's your food. Have a lovely day. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Bye bye. You too. See you soon. Same to you. Bagel Factory. It's going 5.7 miles. Uh, I'm going to say no to this one. It's paying £4.74p for 5 miles. Now, if you guys didn't know, you're paid 80p for a drop-off. You are paid, I think it's a pound to pick up and £1.20 per mile. It might have changed over the time. But that's what it used to be. And I'm pretty sure it still is the same. So it can also depend on what the bonus is. Now, the bonus is a bit of a different situation because when it comes to the bonus or the promo, however you want to see it, they're different on all companies. Burger King, 3.6 miles. Nah, mate, I'm not doing that. Not for £4.91p. I said, sorry. Sounds a bit crazy, to be honest with you. So... One of the main things that makes a big difference is that we get to choose with Uber and Deliveroo where we want to go. Sorry, boss. But when it comes down to things like Just Eat, Just Eat's going to send you a minimal three miles to a restaurant, a minimal three miles to a customer. Me personally, I'd rather choose on where I'm going, how much I'm being paid, how much I'm going to make. With Just Eat, you have to hit certain targets i.e. your targets being you have to do a certain amount of jobs within an hour so that you can make a certain amount of jobs within that week to be able to take your bonus home so to me it kind of feels like you're being pushed when there may be be quiet days and you might not be able to make that bonus so that doesn't really work for me i prefer to be able to come out work on a a um what do you call it like now for example it's one one so when it's 1-1, one, one, you're not going to get anything more than £2.80 to £3, £5, under £5, the max is going to hit you. But once again, you're going to be expected to do a good distance. Now, me personally, I think anything over three miles, if it's like coffee and stuff, it's in order for a motorbike or a car. Cyclist, it's, it's going to take a bit longer, to be quite honest with you. There's so much stuff in this shop, but guys, we'll be back in the next... A few moments later... We're back already. We're back. We're back already. Yes, we are. It's offering me three pound twenty-eight p for one point two miles from KFC. I'm gonna say yes to this one. We're gonna head to KFC. Excuse me. Go collect the order. Okay. So now for this one here, it comes down to. I don't think it's the company that gives you freedom. The job gives you freedom, which obviously the company is entitled to giving you the job. But you see, the thing is, when you actually think about it, right? You're self-employed. 
So it comes down to once again where are you willing to go? How far you're willing to go? You okay? Thank you, miss. And etc. Oh god, it's trying to add on another KFC. And once again, this is my option. I either say yes, I want it, or no, I don't. For 0 0.4, one pound, 89p. Um, I think I'm gonna take it. It's not going too far. And you have to remember something. When you're taking a double order, your second order, the distance it's offering you is from their first customer's delivery address. So where you deliver the first order, it's offering you a payment from there to the next customer. If you think you're being underpaid, it's because you haven't picked up from the restaurant or you get paid for that all in one. In this, smoky. It's okay, miss. Right, let's get to KFC, get this order. The zombies are out today, walking around with their heads down on their phones. Copyright, copyright. <laughs> That's all I can hear right now. KFC Oh my D, same thing again, I always come here 10 15 now this is an issue for me you see when it comes to uber and deliveroo you guys shouldn't be giving us orders for restaurants that are not open as yet it does not make no sense so i've wasted my time to come all the way here so now i can drop an order to find another job and this is two orders so that's like what a good six seven pound i'm about to waste i'm not waiting 15 20 minutes for an order that's not even going to be ready That's a real day in the life issue for all delivery drivers. I seriously kid you not. A few moments later. I'm literally outside of Jack's. So we're gonna go and grab this one right now. I don't think it might be as ready as yet, but there's one more thing we need to discuss. I'm gonna go and see this order's ready. When I come back, we'll get to it. Cool. Sorry. Oops. A few moments later. Yeah. Um, it's three nine e. Three nine. Yeah, three nine e. Thank you. A few moments later. Thank you, boss. Oh, cool. I've started the job. Wicked. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye. Alright, I got the order. Now it's time to go and deliver. Quickest thing possible, or I mean, get there as quick as possible. But there's something we need to discuss, and that is when do you have to work when you work for Uber or Deliveroo? Now, with Uber and Deliveroo, you can work when you want, which the good thing is, is that with Uber Eats especially, so you can do 24 hour shifts. Like Uber's 
operating all day, all night, it doesn't go offline. Deliveroo, you don't have to book a shift neither, you can work when you want, but the only difference is Deliveroo is active between a certain time zone. I know it starts at 7am, I'm not too sure what time it goes off at, probably quite late. But, um, and that will vary depending on what city you live in. So yeah. But back a day in 2016, Deliveroo was from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And only recently from what I know, it started to come around like 7 a.m. But you could go online, sorry. But when it comes to Just Eat, you have to book a shift. Minimal shift of four hours. Otherwise from that, you can do part-time, full-time, or you can be on a zero hour contract. Differences with a zero hour contract, you are only gonna get the shifts that are your, um, your booking on an open shift. So if it's not an open shift, you're not gonna get the shift. That's the honest truth. That's how it was when I was on the Just Eat. But right now, I'm gonna get a move on. We're gonna speed this up and get the delivery made. I got issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh, everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of it. Is ain't it? No, it's not. See, why is my map not working? I begged this thing. I'm going to call the customer. No, no, I'm going to go down some more. Because I'm pretty sure I will come down here somewhere. Now it's saying I'm on the other street. And this is main example. Sometimes a place might not be labeled to where you're expecting it to be. I can only assume that I'm here. Sorry, boss. Hi. Is that it? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, correct. Hi. Thank you. I was a bit lost then. No, don't worry. I know. Sometimes around here. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Cool, bro. Right. Yeah, man, are you? That's it. So, guys, I'm going to start to wrap this up. I know you've only seen two jobs, but the whole purpose of this video was to compare the difference in between companies. I think the main factor for myself is I like to be free.